crowd in here, I know, uh, um, just kind of take us through that last inning. Morgan State really battled, battled, battled as well as you did, but they did get, end up getting a couple hits there. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was uh, trying to blow it out, and uh, I think I was losing it a little bit there. And I don't know what my velo was towards the end, but uh, definitely could feel it in my arm. But the guy got a good piece of the ball, uh, both of them. The guy who hit the ball through the between shortstop and third, and then the guy who hit the home run, obviously, they both got a good piece. And uh, that's about it. Uh, to come back from this, what do you kind of tell your guys or what do you tell each other, so to speak? Hey, just stay relaxed and focused, and uh, let's win a ball game tomorrow. What about the emotion swing when that ball foul balls in the air and you're thinking probably you're seconds away from celebrating a national championship? Yeah, I mean, I definitely thought that ball was going to be caught, but it didn't. And then uh, I was focused right back on that guy. And uh, I mean, I think he just got lucky and didn't hit it right at Martin or right at Jackson. Yeah, uh, got through the hole and scored a run and tied it up. What's the, the mechanics of that? Play, just from a general baseball perspective, is that the right fielder's ball until someone calls him off? Or? Um, I think normally that'd be a second base's ball, but I mean, I, it was a long way out there, so uh, whoever can kind of get to it, that's their that's their ball, and uh, got to take charge and and uh, call someone off. Thanks, man. I know that coach has talked from the beginning about playing with a sense of urgency. Um, how adamant is that tomorrow? It's huge. Uh, we need to get out there. We need to jump on them from uh, pitch one and stay on them until the end of it. It's Isaiah's game tomorrow, the confidence you have with him starting on the mound. Yeah, no, uh, his his last few starts have been good, and uh have complete faith he'll go through however many he goes, and then we'll hand it off to someone in the pen and then uh, get through the game. I know that one's a tough one to swallow, but, but bouncing back after that. Yeah, I mean, tomorrow's game three for national title. I mean... What else can you ask for? Is you're you're a kid looking forward to a game three for a national title, so it didn't go the way that we wanted it to. But I mean, there's always more for us. What happened on that foul ball there? I'm not answering that, man. Come on. <laughs> you guys have been so resilient all year. I mean, how do you sort of find it within you guys for for one more game? I mean, we're playing for the first national title in Arkansas history. I mean, it, it's it's going to be tough not to get pumped up for that game and, and fight back. Fans probably felt a little, you know, watching fans come out shocked. Is that sort of, do you describe the locker room? Shocked, upset. I, don't, I mean, we're just all looking forward to tomorrow. We're, we're, ready to, we're ready to get back on the field tomorrow and, and play for game three. I know that one was a hard one to swallow. What, what was going through your head? Um, you know, when, when that ball dropped between uh, Shaddy and Jax, or in, uh, Jared and um, Eric? You know, as soon as that happened, we're on to the next pitch. That's the way baseball is. It's hard ball to catch in foul territory. It's kind of no man's land, so now it's on to the next one. Yeah, a big game now, just m moving on. Oh, yeah, big game tomorrow, but, you know, it's just baseball at the end of the day. We're going to come out here tomorrow and uh, compete for it, and we're going to give it our all and just leave it all out on the table and see what happens. What was the message um, from Coach after the game? You know, tomorrow's a new day. Let's go get it tomorrow. Anything that will be there to help you, help us? Maybe we can send, we'll, uh, we'll be there. Well, what's the mindset of the team coming back from a loss like that? You know, we face the same thing. Um, Super Regional, South Carolina's beat us, beat us the second game. You know, we came back game three with a little extra fire because we knew we had to uh, get the job done. So I think we'll be the same thing tomorrow. Yeah, you know, baseball is a game of up and downs, and so you know, just just trying to control your emotions. Um, it's a big thing because you know we have obviously have the lead, and then they take it back, and then it's just a back and forth kind of game. But you know, um, we'll be ready for tomorrow. Um, we've been in the same kind of situation before, so it's all really just if we're ready to go tomorrow. Uh, you know, I had been in situations like that earlier this year, and um, I just kind of tried to st step back and take a moment and say, hey, I've done this before. Um, it's nothing I haven't seen already. And so it's just having that experience earlier this year kind of just helped me um, get through that situation. Just so overall, uh, my feelings are we just lost a ball game. I mean, it is what it is. You know, I mean, we've lost games all year long, so, I mean, it's just a matter of 
you know, getting back out here tomorrow and going to work. How do you guys reset after this? Same way we did all year long. I mean, it's not like the world ending. I mean, we lost a game. Okay, who cares? You know, I mean, they're a very good ball club. It was a very good game. You know, it was just a, you know, one thing here or there, you know, and that's typical baseball, so. feel like I have all year long. You know, I got full confidence in him and ready to watch him work. Number 16 pops up tomorrow. You know, I'm going to be good to go. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I don't want to put that pressure on you, but. Yeah, I don't know yet. We'll, uh, we'll come to that tomorrow when tomorrow gets here. Uh, yeah, I felt good with everything. I felt comfortable. Um, I threw all three pitches for strikes at times, and I just I really need to focus on getting the fastball in and establishing the inside part of the plate. Uh, I kind of lacked on that, and that's why they hit me hard a little bit. But uh, no, I felt good. I felt fine, so everything was good on that side. I mean, win a ball game. I mean, that's the only thing I'm thinking about that at that time in the game. Uh, take it one pitch at a time and get three outs. But uh, it came out a little too late. But I mean, that's why we got tomorrow. Uh, I was just really focused on driving my front foot down and uh, getting my glove side stronger. But, uh, I mean, I was working off my changeup a lot, so I used that to elevate the fastball for effective pitch, but went from there. How do you guys think of this and kind of be set for tomorrow? Go to sleep. I mean, uh, I mean, I don't know. You just got to put it past us. I mean, uh, it's a good game. Uh, baseball happens. I mean, that's just kind of how it goes. But uh, really just get back to the hotel, get some rest, and wake up in the morning and be ready to go. Oh, I'm um, 100%. I know he's going to get the job done. I mean, there's no question about it. Um, but, I mean, even after him, we have guys, we have arms. So, I mean, no reason to put all the pressure on Isaiah, but we know he'll get the job done. We were here for weeks ago, South Carolina. Had to, you had to win this game. Coach said our puppy didn't die. What's your, you know, it's not like your puppy died. What's your mindset right now going into tomorrow? Uh, you know, it sucks at the moment, but um, at the end of the day, uh, you still got to go out there and play ball. So uh, we'll, we'll uh, regather our thoughts um, tonight, uh, sleep on it, just kind of push it behind us, turn the page, and uh, come out and play ball tomorrow. Uh, the way that it, that it ended right there, what are your thoughts on the way that it ended? Obviously, it's heartbreak, but. I mean, you know, um, you know, I got lucky. Um, you know, hit it hard through the middle. Um, you know, kind of saved love there. You know, not much you can really do about it. Man, that's baseball. Uh, sometimes it doesn't bounce your way, and uh, that's kind of how it went tonight. Coach said he doesn't ever do pep talks or speeches, anything like that. How do you mentally prepare for what's going to happen to, to switch it over? You just got to go out and do you, you know, um, mentally prepare uh, yourself like you have all year. And, um, you know, everybody has their own thing, but, um, you know, you just got to do it over and over. Casey, as tough a game as this was, y'all did fight back to get the lead right there. Um, any, any any comfortability there? Or they just make the plays there at the end. You know, they, like I said, you know, it just comes down to you know who made the play, and uh, you know he, you know, hats off to him. He, he made the play, and uh, you know, not much you can really do about it. It's just part of baseball. How much you got to rally around each other now. Quick window here before you play again. Yeah, you know, we're just going to turn the page and come out tomorrow and uh, get after it.